Healthcare workers are on the medical front line in the fight against COVID-19. The head of the World Healthcare Organization made it clear we can't stop coronavirus without protecting them. And make no mistake about it, they worry about their personal risks. So we check to see what's being done to protect them. Doctors, nurses, and staff are taking extraordinary measures to make sure that they and every one of the patients walking through the doors in every one of their offices are protected. Mindful of the risks, they employ a number of mitigation strategies and infection control measures. Currently, we have everybody in protective gowns, gloves, and masks as needed, and we have um, rolled out our telehealth program. So patients with symptoms or who are immunocompromised, we are asking them to stay at home and let their physicians treat them from the office to you know, avoid exposure. Masks and supplies are dwindling. It's becoming more difficult to keep these healthcare workers from becoming patients themselves. So protocols have to constantly change. Patients need to call. Don't just come in. We are actively calling every patient as well and triaging them before they come. Casey Jabot with Millennium Physicians Group says a lot goes into balancing the workload and safety. It monopolizes all of your time. You no longer do your current work. It's all about protecting staff, protecting patients, protecting providers, and trying to do the right thing so that we can get a hold of this and make sure that everyone pulls through it in a positive way. Hope is as long as these workers use the right protection and self-monitor for symptoms, they can continue working. Healthcare professionals will tell you if you think of the alternative, if there is a rash of healthcare workers who can't work at all, there will be no one to take care of sick patients. That's why they go above and beyond to protect themselves and those all around them.